Hey peeps, Pickle16 here on a video It's going to be very rambly and it's going to detail the state of my SM64 videos and the state that I've been in for a while, even during while I was making the ending parts to the Curse of the Invincibility Frames, the state that I was in. Basically everything that I wanted to do ending YTR and um what's going to happen now if you can't tell by my tone it's not going to be good news to those who like that content now then i want to start the story of what my initial plans were of what the series was going to be what i had wanted what my plans were the plans I had con I, I have been planning for a while to include a series where all of my friends, all of my current friends, would have um, involvement in this ongoing story that um, would eventually uh, revolve around the end and would lead our characters to their proper ends so that, like, people's involvement in the series wouldn't just be like Starman 3 where he brings them in once uselessly and then he trashes them never to be seen again. Instead, it would be a more intelligent use of the person in a setting that um, would be more akin to our community. However, after I left YTR, this became much, much dif more difficult to um, keep hold. Many people didn't like using their color codes. Many people didn't want, um, such as, th didn't like SM64, didn't care about it the same way, so thus this made it very difficult for me to continuously plan around these particular people, uh, along with the plans that I had for these characters, for their characters and what their characters were going to do. So as the list of friends kept depleting over months and months, meanwhile I still tried to keep the story going so like I'd say I'd need your character for X and X episode that I'd planned but um it was um only because I had planned your character to have a certain story element to them like they had um a special ability or something I planned a lot around having everybody in a certain type of series and I had to think a long time as to what the ongoing story was going to be because I had to keep changing it all the time until I basically only had like two or three people left that I knew that would have wanted to stay around and this severely hindered what my original story was and thus um, it hurt progression of planning. Plus, I wanted to finish the Curse of Invisibility Frames, and then school got in the way. So, and then another thing got in the way, which um, delayed my plans even further. I had, like, plans for, like, um, 50 or so people at that point. Um, people that I'd known that had um, joined in the community who had a color code who had um things like they had they had had involvement in YTR or some point they had had some kind of um avatar that I could look at that I could use in it but they just all kept leaving and this severely hindered it so what the initial plan was in its bare bones state these people were going to be around in the community. I was probably going to make stories and bloopers revolving around these people, probably determine it around events that were going to happen in Skype calls or um, events that happened in our conversations. And um, these people would just live in this community uh, around uh, the Mario universe with this overarching story that I had to change a bit but it's not that different what it would have been finally compared to what it was initially everyone would have gained superpowers at some point which was also still going to remain if i had continued but that's another thing everyone having that and every people 
having specific qualities that had gotten them to that point, when those people left, um, it made it very difficult for me to find a replacement, which ended up in some cases I had to um, make made-up characters in spot of that because I had no one else to look to. Because most people were leaving, no one wanted to have any attention, and most people thought what I was doing was really stupid. Although that last bit wasn't really why I wasn't doing it as much as most of the other things getting in the way. So, the final story. The final story, which would have probably revolved around um, Starman 3 being there, and maybe Enzo, Charmix, Hammy, uh, my character, and all of the made-up ones. The final one that would have happened had I uh, had the motivation and uh, the interest, which I'll explain how, how I got to that point in a moment. The final story would have been, after the Curse of the Invincibility Frames story had finished, which is um, past, um, you know, that ending scene. I leave YTR, obviously, because that um, Starman 3 video takes place after the Curse of the Invincibility Frames. I would have left YTR, and then my character would have left. But the fact that it took so long, it makes no sense now. This, that that Curse of Invincibility Frame story took place in March of 2014, and a lot has happened to me since then in real life for me to consider a story to take place in between there any kind of sense. So, I would have left for a bit to um, go to a different type of community. My character. My character would have come back and uh, would have noticed that a lot has changed, and... Now, for some reason, people are vanishing for no reason, and the made-up characters are trying to figure out a reason why um, that is happening. Whilst also at the same time, Jinder and Akin and Blue would have to readjust to my character living around every day again, since my character left for so long, they needed to adjust to that. So, after several bloopers and whatever happened past, the story then comes to pass that by the end, I would have revealed that the reason why people are vanishing is because these people, us, if you want to call color codes that are user based, that have user names, that are people, are dimensional travelers because we travel across communities at will and change our courses on a whim, thus, um, it, and t to the internet it seems like totally different dimensions and worlds, and that's why everyone was vanishing, and that's even why I vanished. Um, and it's the destiny of a dimensional traveller to only go by areas in passing, because you never know when you're going to leave a community, or and you never know what's going to happen to you in a community if you get too close, such as when you make close friends and they leave or when you have um a broken community that uh has it is screaming at each other all the time stuff like that it, it, it you never know how long you're going to be so sometimes you'll just whisk yourself away and you'll find somewhere else and that's the life of a dimensional traveler um and then what would have happened is my character would have left and all of the made-up characters, because the made-up characters don't have such a power, they just live in that world and the world just dies. This is, this is very basic planning because um, what actually has happened to me has made uh, planning for this impossible. Because I later had made the story I left because of Splatoon. It affected me a lot more than I thought it would. I ended up joining the community as a mere passing thing, but then I got, got way, way far into it and learned a whole bunch of different things. Not just that, some special types of opinions entered my mind, which contradict some of the thinking I had during when I made SM64 videos. Not only that, I'm generally um, losing interest in making Super Mario 64 videos. Not because um, I hate color codes, it is not that. The amount of setup that 
a Super Mario 64 video requires, not just the script, because the script is so easy to make, but the, the, the recording, the setting up of save states and everything, I'm simply not as interested in it anymore as I am for Splatoon. Being around these different types of people and be and having a different opinion on some kinds of stories now. Thus, all I've said about me wanting to make a better story, I don't necessarily have the motivation to do it for SM64 color codes anymore. I don't hate color codes, people can have them of their own free will, but I simply don't want to do them anymore. What would have happened, since you've been staring at it for the past 10 minutes, is my character's color code would have changed, and you're staring at what the changed color code would have been. The... If, you, if you're not understood enough to know, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but my character's color code here has better shading and um, a slight difference in the hair color. That's it. Aside from that, it's mostly the same. The same color scheme, just better shaded. Now, I left YTR a long time ago, and then while I, w while I had left YTR, I was still going on with the Curses of Invincibility frames. Initially, I'd wanted to complete the series quickly, but the thing is, having to deal with the long green screen wait, green screen fight wait, really took a downer on my motivation, and especially, this, they, be, what I had said in the commentary videos, if you're unaware, I'll say it now, about, what I had said about them in the Skype group dragging down my motivation to the point where, um, they wanted me to not make the videos anymore, it basically happened, but not through their actions only directly, only because of that plus a bunch of other things. The green screen fight took so long, and I, th and I then had to find other things to do. Whilst finding other things to do, they then became my main things to do. So thus, it became very difficult to keep going with SM64, especially when I didn't want to release anything, like Blue's backstory or Jinder's backstory or anything like that, until after I was done with the Curse of the Invincibility frames, so then I didn't look like I was delaying it for other projects. But the thing is, no, the guy who was helping me with the green screen fight, who I ended up ditching anyway, he never, um, he never did it. He never, um, finished it properly. And any time he would, he would just come up with really stupid ass responses, constantly saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish it because I've got like a minute of footage left, even though I'm just gonna sit here and do literal nothing about it. Which drained my motivation more and more, and... Consequently, made me put it more into else elsewhere. It it it's it's very hard to recoil back from that because I then ended up learning things that I wanted to know that are actually a bit more beneficial than SM sixty four. So I met I met friends. I met people. I did things. I rethought some of my opinions about making characters and stories and uh and being myself which a lot of it I was restricting myself during when I was making a lot of SM64 videos. I mean, yeah, you have gender, you have a kin, but usually when I make some kind of fan series or whatever fan story, usually I make a whole bunch of characters. And I was restricting myself a lot during uh, the SM64 times when I was doing that. I mean, I had a whole bunch of color codes that I made, but I never used them because they had no character behind them. And um, no proper story to put them in. Plus, it's a bit of a chore. The SM64 universe, basically, you could conclude it at the end of the Curse of its ability frames and you wouldn't need to conclude anything else. Everything else would just be uh, ex extra bits, and nothing. Uh, it would just be a new series thing. It wouldn't be a it, no, no. Nothing would need to continue off from that. Most of my friends from that community, like um, people that I knew, 
no, none of them care anymore about it. And these are the people I planned around. While I was creating the series, I had come up with this idea of um, this elemental voice where the characters would gain superpowers that I would be able to write stories around um, based on that because it would be easier to do that because they'd have superpowers and thus they wouldn't be and they're normal people so it would be hard to deal with that. I had written myself the freeze everything code that I normally use for recording music that code I had thought of as a sort of mock superpower for my character but again um, everyone left which made it very hard for me to keep track since I had assigned each character like a certain type of power based on a quality of a character that I had seen in their video series or um, or that they had talked about or that they had shown in videos or something. It's because of this that I find it very difficult to um, do that because all of my original plans, which I had thought up of during when I was um, going through school, the heavy school years, which were uh, year 11 and 12, which also really hurt um, progress. It is because of all of this that I simply do not feel like making Super Mario 64 videos anymore. There, the story that I made was not complete. It had many interruptions and I don't feel comfortable enough with SM64 anymore because of the amount of interaction I've had with the Splatoon community that I just don't feel like I want to make them anymore. It should, be, it should have been obvious by the amount of slowdown that happened uh, during that time. I was holding it off because I wanted to release part 16 and therefore I wanted to get that done before um, I attempted to do anything else that was related to the new series because I didn't want to start this new thing and then have you jump back so then you could see the conclusion even though, you know, it, 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 ha it happens, it was released afterwards. Not only that, but I simply... Since I had planned this around my friends because of the way SM3 handled his bloopers that I wanted to make a version of that but better. Because of the amount of people that left and the amount of people that didn't care anymore and the opinions of those people changing over time. I didn't have an easy time because all of these people that I had planned to use or to have fun with, they all left and all didn't care anymore. Thus, it's um, it's pretty stupid to uh, think that um, I have a, a large cast, and I don't want to. I simply don't want to have my character surrounded by a bunch of uh, um, made-up nobodies. I mean, I know that's kind of half the plot. The users are the ones that are the dimensional dimensional travelers, but there's this very large lop side when you concern however many people still want to do it versus um like the characters that I made up that aren't supposed to have that dimensional traveling thing so plus the amount of setup that it requires I usually need about seven windows open when I um record SM64 the texture pack window the the faces window the save window for um my save states um mario movie maker project 64 fraps um uh any extra texture pack that i use my recording folder it's a lot to set up and it's a lot that I don't want to set up anymore. Especially since, like, most of it nobody cares about anymore. It's, it, I, even if people didn't care about it, I would have still wanted to do it had I had the motivation, but I simply don't. I have changed that to other things, and I don't feel the same motivation anymore. So, you've heard me ramble for 20 minutes. Here's what I'm going to do. 
I've made up a short um, story that could basically sum up if anyone wanted to do anything with my character. My character's basically splintering through time and there are like fragments of my character all across the dimensional world and people could use them as um I've just like amnesiacally if that's even a word <laughs> like I have amnesia and I've I've been um in some people's places for a while the metaphorical way of saying I, you can have my character in your stories and she could basically know everything about your story or whatever but it's not going to be canon to my actual thing because my series is dead um so I'm going to leave my new characters as color code in the description in a description of this video and you can use it um how you wish so long as you know that it came from this video because I know there might be one or two individuals who still use Super Mario 64 in their videos. I should be aware that SMG4 is, um, like, you know, still prominent and popular. So, of course, it is that some people might want to be inspired to follow him and do his stuff. Um, you can, you can use my color code the same way and I'm not necessarily going to say oh my color code's nothing anymore and I hate my color code no that's not true I still like my color code I just don't want to make SM64 videos on the scale that I was making in the past anymore so you you'll have it in the description but I'm not going to put it anywhere else um and what I'm going to do from here on is I'm just going to follow my own path on what, I got, on what I'm going to do, including on YouTube. So, series that I had planned that I want to do, I'll follow up on them if I deem it necessary. Like, I still want to record myself reacting to old video games that I played when I was six years old. So, I might be able to do that because... I personally prefer content where I'm reacting with my voice a little bit better than when I'm not voice reacting to things. So like Roblox videos, if I ever get the motivation to record those, I'll still probably do those because I enjoy reacting with my voice a little better and I prefer my content to be filled with that. If I ever have the motivation to do any kind of music thing, I'll still do it. I'm still going to keep Project 64 and stuff and my texture packs. I'm just not going to record um, super large stories with it anymore. I'm just going to keep it as, like, memories and stuff. Just so people still have it. So then, like, it's still a resource that I still have that stuff. Mm-hmm. So... As for other content, the music stuff, if I have the motivation to record music, as in if I record a music track and um, I want to put it up, I'll put it up. But most of the content that I want to make now on this channel is stuff that I make when I'm voice reacting to things, including tutorials, but not just that. Not just that, but things like um, Roblox videos, the nostalgic content, and um, uh, other things like that. Stuff that's easy to record and edit. Because, yeah, that's generally, that's generally how I like the, these kinds of things. And, and that's how I'll generally make stuff. I'm getting into ramble territory. So, the short version, I'm not going to make SM64 videos that are scripted that are on a very large scale anymore. 
I have one video that I've made that are, that is on that scale that I had previously thought. It's just a context thing to um, episode 5 to the Curse of the Invisibility Frames, I think, where it just details Blues' uh, little journey to... Oh no, episode 2 actually. Episode 5 to episode 2. And um, Blue's journey to uh, finding my character. I only need to add music to that, and I'll figure that out in a moment. But I'm not going to make um, SM64 videos on a large scale anymore. I don't hate color codes. I don't. Um, I, don't I don't dislike story making. I just don't have the motivation to do it with those kinds of characters anymore. Other types of videos, such as voice com videos, will still be a thing, but they'll probably be rare because I'm doing different things, like with Gmod and stuff, and uh, things that I would prefer to be doing. I would much prefer to not really do a whole bunch of videos like that as much. Splatoon Test Fire, I'll eventually get those up, but the videos are all like 3 gigabytes, and I can't upload with a stupid internet. It keeps disconnecting all the time for some reason. But I'll still probably find ways to put them up. Um, yeah. And you can use my color code, but it's not going to be canon to my series because I'm not making a series anymore and um, my character's now amnesiac and you can do whatever the hell you want with her. Um, I can be like this long forgotten relic if you want me to. Anyway, that's it for me. See y'all, have a good day, peace, and that's the status of uh, this channel. I don't really care if you unsub because I'm not really a super into subscribers person, so if you want to stick around, stick around, but I won't be doing a whole lot. So, uh, peace.